Teachers working in emergency contexts across the world are working every day to ensure their students' right to quality education. It's an injustice that so many of them have not been paid for months. So many of them are paid sporadically. So many are paid too little to live a life of dignity and support their families. So many have to take second jobs. So many cannot access their salaries without travelling long distances. It's an injustice that so many have impossible workloads and their well-being is at risk. So many lack decent working conditions. Too many teachers lack the conditions necessary to meet their students' needs. As the Global Federation of Education Unions, Education International has received too many shocking reports from member organisations about teachers in emergency contexts working without pay or support. In Afghanistan, our members report that teachers face severe salary delays, especially in rural areas. They need to travel long distances to collect salaries and even then face complications to get their salaries from the banks. This is money they have earned. We have just launched an Afghan Teachers' Rights Observatory in order to monitor the working conditions of teachers in Afghanistan and elevate their voice. The insights they provide will inform our advocacy at national and global levels. This observatory will monitor the situation on the ground in Afghanistan. This includes payment of teachers' salaries and working conditions. Human and trade union rights violations with a particular focus on gender equity and girls' access to education, as well as restrictions on women teachers. As Education International, we are on the ground taking concrete actions to ensure the right to education. Colleagues, we need to act now. In emergency contexts, teachers cannot wait. Students cannot wait. Teachers are the cornerstone of quality education. Without teachers, quality education for all cannot be achieved. A student's right to education can only be met if their teachers' needs and rights are fulfilled. Payment of their salaries is imperative. Safety is imperative. Respecting teachers' professional autonomy and the right to organise is not negotiable. Providing support and suitable teaching and learning materials is essential, not a nice extra. No other professional is expected to work without pay. How can we expect teachers, the core of any education system, to teach the next generation without basic resources and conditions? Therefore, in the context of Education Cannot Wait's high-level finance conference, we call on governments and donors to make bold pledges to support education in emergencies and particularly to invest in teachers. We call on the international community to take action to develop funding mechanisms that ensure teachers are paid. We call for all policymakers to work together with teachers and their unions to develop teacher policies in emergency contexts. Governments must fully fund public education systems and invest in the professionals who work tirelessly to create the future our students deserve. Together, we can ensure that despite war, famine, climate change and forced displacement, every student has access to a qualified teacher and quality education.